So here I am, I got a brand new podcast microphone from Cinco. Thank you guys so much for sending it over for review. I've never actually had a podcast microphone before, so this will be interesting. So this is called the C-Mic V1. It's the first type of microphone that Cinco designed for podcasting. But in today's video, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna do some testing and we're gonna throw in some musical flair in this holiday season that we're uh, going through right now. We all need a little bit of cheer, right? So first off, let me talk to you about the overall build quality. It's made out of an aluminum frame. Once you take off the wind muff, you can really see how nice this microphone looks like. And please disregard the subtle scratches that you see on this mic. It fell off of my mic stand, totally my fault. I tripped over the wire, but it held up to a pretty strong hit. So not only does this mic sound pretty good, but it's durable too. This microphone is fully powered via a USB connection, and they also throw in the standard connection cables to hook this up to your computer. On the front of the microphone, we have the volume up, volume down buttons. We also have a dedicated mute button and a headphone jack for monitoring audio. Along with the package, you also get a little tripod and a mount. The mount allows you to hook it up to both a mic stand or the tripod that comes included in the kit. We have a nice little opening at the bottom of the mount, allowing you to attach your cable flawlessly without it getting in the way of your setup. So currently right now, I'm using a lavalier microphone that's wireless. I wanna start going back and forth between the podcast mic and the lavalier microphone that I'm wearing right now. So let's see what we can sound like with this beautiful podcast microphone from Cinco. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you hear any weird noise or just, you know, maybe I should just stop talking and you let me know what kind of noise you may hear. I do wanna add though, since I am using a wireless lav and my fan is on on my light, you might hear a little bit of buzzing. That's not the microphone. That's just the equipment that I'm running in my studio right now. And also I am not in a sound treated room. So take that into consideration when you're judging the audio quality of this mic. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments section below. So I know this microphone is primarily used for podcasts, but I wanted to take it to its limits and test it out with my singing and a little bit of my trombone playing. Now, I am not a professional singer by any means. I'm not a professional music producer either, but I do know how to play a little bit of trombone. So I decided to make a little bit of a, you know, jolly holly, just roll the, the clip. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a holiday tune for the holiday spirits. Let me know how you think this microphone performed in the comment section below. But let me go over some of the specs that Cinco put on their website. It is an electric condenser and it has a 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency range. So it is pretty sensitive and the noise level is a little bit louder than 82 decibels. So we have very minimal noise here, which is fantastic. So you can actually crank up the audio if you recorded it a little bit too low and you should still get pretty crisp audio coming out of this microphone. And the weight is just under a pound at 368 grams. Overall, this is a very well-built microphone and for it being my first podcast mic, I think it performed exceptionally well 
and I think I'm gonna start doing a lot of voiceover work once I get my room sound treated. And uh, I think it's a great little microphone to have and pick up. And if you're interested in learning more about this microphone, go ahead and check out the link down below in the description box. It will take you to Cinco's website. They haven't released the microphone yet as of this video, but they will very, very soon. So stay updated on their website. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.